To create your tutorial, you only need two things. The first one is your snipping tool, and ito yung icon niya. So when you click on it, it will give you this window, and the snipping tool allows you to cut a portion of your screen. And we're going to use this for our tutorial. Si snipping tool naman, kasama na siya kadalasan sa mga laptops and desktops pag bilhin natin. So, all you have to do is check your programs and hanapin mo siya doon. Now, the next tool that we're going to use is Canva. It is an online graphics design tool. So, this is Canva. Now, yes, our tutorial, pwede natin siyang gawin sa PowerPoint. Pwede natin siyang gawin sa Google Slides. Okay lang din. But the reason why we're doing it sa Canva is because Canva is the most common graphics design tool na ginagamit ng may mga online businesses. And they use it for a lot of things. They use it for their social media graphics. They use it for their newsletter graphics, for their blog post graphics. And for some, they even use it for their Shopify or their Amazon images as well. So, given the scope na kayang gawin sa Canva and how useful it is for online business owners, it's very important that you, as a service provider, as a freelancer, as a VA, it's very important for you to know how to use and navigate the tool. So, putting our tutorial sa Canva is actually an easy way for you to learn to be familiar with the tool and it's an added perk. Okay, so for this one, all you have to do is go to canva.com and just create an account. So you have these options to sign up. You can also do it here. And don't worry, this is for free. They do have a paid plan, but you can already run away with their free version. It's all okay. Once you've created your account, Ito yung magiging itsura niya. This is your homepage. This is your dashboard for your Canva account. And if this is the first time that you're going to use the tool, ignore everything muna and just follow the step-by-step -step process that I'm going to give you para hindi ka masyadong ma-overwhelm. But of course, feel free to play with it and navigate it um, because this is a very important tool. As soon as may account ka na feel free to, you know, just play around with it and get familiar with it. Okay, for our tutorial, what you're going to do is go to the search bar sa gitna, and then type mo lang dito, presentation. And then, we're going to choose one. So, you can choose a template, but at the same time, you can also choose blank. So, we'll choose blank. But don't worry if you change your mind and you decide to use a template, available din yung templates sa mismong page. The first thing that you're going to do is name your file. So, to name your file, go here, and then name mo lang siya. Um, ano ba yung magiging file name niya? It depends on the tool that you're going to use. So, for us, um, gagamitin natin tool is for Okay, so for this one, once manay mo na yung file mo, you can go ahead and choose yung template mo for your presentation. So for example, I choose this one. Okay, and this is going to be my cover. Click mo lang yung page na gusto mong gamitin. So click this for my cover. Okay. Yan. So, pwede mo na siyang gamitin. Pag may template ka na, pag meron ka na Canva presentation na gagamitin, the next thing that we're going to do is to choose the tool that we're going to create a tutorial for. So, balik tayo ulit sa Google. And then from here, type mo lang tools, then use that. Now, for this one, since ang kailangan niya natin is yung mga tools na relevant sa niche na gusto natin isupport. So, for example, if you're a real estate VA, pwede mo check that. 
If you're Amazon, uh, if you're looking to be an Amazon VA, you can do that. If you're a data entry specialist, pwede mo plug dyan. If you're a bookkeeper, etc., etc. So for our tutorial, we're going to use social media manager. Si Google bibigyan tayo ng mga list, and what we're going to do is to check this one by one. Now, what we're looking for are tools na will allow us to create an account. As you can see here, this is the list of the most common tools na ginagamit for social media. So we're going to check each tool one by one. And again, ang hinahanap natin is yung tool na will allow us to create a free trial. So I have here buffer na kasi this is what we're going to use. For example, hindi mo pa alam kung may free trial siya. The thing that you can do is go to their website and then dun mo hanapin. So usually on the main page, sa home page, makikita mo na dyan. This one, 14-day free trial. Pag wala dyan, the other place that you can look for is go to pricing. And then usually dyan, i-indicate din niya. Alright, now how are we going to create our tutorial? Yung tutorial na gagawin natin is a step-by-step -step process kung paano i-navigate or gamitin yung particular tool that we've chosen. For example, for Buffer. Always start with the homepage. Ito yung pinaka-homepage niya. What we're going to do is get our snipping tool. Then, grab this. So, the very first step na kailangan mong gawin is to create an account, right? So, yun natin yung, yan yung kukunin natin. So, isi-save lang natin siya. And then, yun, you can rename it. Pag na-save mo na siya, balik ka ngayon sa Canva mo. And then, click on Add Page. You can delete that if you want to remove the color. Okay, then click on Upload dito sa left-hand side. Click on Upload an Image. Click on Device. And then, choose mo yung file na gusto mo upload Pag na-upload na siya, makikita mo dito pagtapos na. Pag uploaded na siya, pwede mo lang siyang i-drag and drop dun sa page na lalagay mo siya. So, drag mo siya dyan. And then, pull the corners to resize. Center mo lang. Lalabas yung center line. Tapos, the next step is go to elements. And then, dito sa search bar, type mo lang arrow. And then, choose the arrow that you wanted to use. Kasi nga, since tutorial siya, dapat may step-by-step -step process. Okay. So, ayan. So, if you want to create an account sa Buffer, what's the very first thing that you need to do? So, you can either click try Buffer for Business or click on oops, click on the Get Started Now. So as you can see, this is very much similar to on sa process na ginawa ko when I showed you how to create a WordPress account. Diba? It's a step-by-step -step process. May arrows kung saan sila kailangan pumunta. And then, meron siyang instruction. So for us to put the instruction, just go to text. Ito siya. And then, pili ka lang. So how big? yung gusto mo. So, let's say subheading. And this is still editable. So, if you want to edit the font, you can, um, ito yung font niya. Pwede mong i-edit kung anong gusto mo. Ito yung size ng font. Ito yung colors ng font. You can make it bold, italics. Pwede mo rin siya i-left align or justified or centered. Yan. Pwede bullets. And it is spacing. So, line height and letter spaces. Ayan. So, it's up to you to use that. Okay. So, we'll leave it as it is. Now, ang gagawin natin is ilalagay natin yung exact step na kailangan na lang gawin. Let's say, click on 
try buffer for business. Now, we want to make sure na isang step lang per page. So, dito, since dalawa yung arrow natin, what we're going to do is make it two pages. So, click mo lang itong duplicate. And then, since try, for, try buffer for business yung sa unang page mo, page two mo, you can now remove this one and then ito na lang. Or, pwede mo ilagay dyan, okay. or click on get started now. So, pwede mo siya i-bold. Pwede mo siya i-change ng color. So, the idea here is the more pages, the better. Pag nakakreate ka na ng account, for example, sa buffer, pasok ka na ngayon, and then what you're going to do is to talk about each of the buttons that you can see within the tool. For example, paano i-connect si Instagram, Paano i-connect sa Twitter? Ano yung magagawa mo sa manage social accounts? How can you add a post? Ano yung queue? Ano yung analytics, settings, etc. Step by step, just go through the different parts of the tool. And yun yung magiging tutorial mo. Now, just continue adding on a page. Just put the image that you snipped. And then, indicate mo lang with an arrow kung ano yung kailangan nilang gawin, ano yung kailangan nila i-click, saan sila kailangan pumunta. And then, put the label kung ano yung exactong thing na kailangan nilang gawin, kung ano yung step na kailangan nilang i-accomplish. And then, also remember to name your actual presentation. So, balik ka sa first page mo, this one, and then, palitan mo siya ng name. So, how are you going to name your tutorial? Name mo siya in a way that it's going to be beneficial for the client. Balik pa rin tayo doon. How are we going to provide help para sa needs nila? So, since si Buffer is an automation tool gamit for social media, what you can actually say is, let's say, how to use, use Buffer to automate your social media. Media posts. So, we open the yeah. And then, we can uh, There you go. Name your tutorial in a way that it will solve a particular problem, Nikolai. Now, once you're happy with your entire tutorial, the next step that we're going to do is kailangan natin ngayong ilagay siya sa WordPress. And I will be showing that to you next.